So uh, welcome to this new edition of, uh, of our interaction with community leaders. And today we have Natalia, who is the secretary of the Uralo. And uh, Natalia is a prominent uh, community leader here in ICANN. So Natalia, what do you think about the ICANN multi-stakeholder model? Uh, hello everyone, thanks so much for inviting me, Shridip. Uh, my honor to be uh, your guest for this short interview. So my name is Natalia Filina. I am living in Moscow in Russia and I am uh, involved from 2018 into the internet uh, governance system and discussion and exactly in ICANN community work. I'm a volunteer. And I would love to say that I am happy to be here within ICANN community because uh, it is a very unique place and maybe only one place when we can see multi-stakeholder model in work, in progress, on, in real life. It's not just the words. So each uh, people can attend our meetings, uh, online or face-to-face -face meetings. Uh, everyone can contribute to policy work to policy development work, uh, to make comments, to ask questions and to get answers. And each group of stakeholders have a voice here, has a voice here. And so that is like multi-stakeholder model works. Uh, so my next question would be, what are the challenges in this community? How can we bring in better voices, uh, create better engagement with different stakeholders? Or there, there has been seen a relative less um, engagement of the youth. So what do you see? How can we bridge the gaps? Oh, so that is a good question. Thank you very much. Um, you know, before, maybe several years ago, I may say that it's very difficult for us because we met a COVID-19, for example, and we met a very, um, you know, very hard geopolitical situation. And we might be divided, but we are not, finally. And uh, we might uh, say that our community is getting older and we have no younger voice and no youth but now I can say that we are very successful with this because we are all the time doing a lot of outreach and engagement work and we are providing a lot of information, what we are doing, with which result we are working, uh, how can people come to our community, apply, how they can get uh, fellowship, uh, you know, slots for attending meeting and getting a lot of knowledge which kind of learning resources we have, which kind of input we are waiting for. And uh, so now, as a result, we have a lot of uh, people from diverse internet governance community, technical people, academia, um, researchers, and people who are presenting non-commercial organizations who are caring about internet and users. So we are successful, and I think we will go ahead with uh, the same you know, best practice, and uh, I think we do our best, and uh, so what we can do else, maybe we can explain much more, and maybe every day about our work, uh, about not simple set of issues we are solving together, and maybe people will understand more and more about our uh, work, and uh, will join us. Okay. So it's our wish. Okay. So final question is uh, multi-stakeholder in definition and multi-stakeholder in practice. These two things are completely different. So how do you see uh, the whole uh, ICANN multi-stakeholder model trying to adapt in the uh, community? I mean, you say it kind of like relates to the first one, but still, you know, like how how can we, uh, you know, uh, how can we bring in newer voices? How can we bring? How can we create more collaborative uh, synergies? You know, my personal opinion, maybe not only mine, uh, all of these questions is about trust. If people and uh, different organizations who would love to be involved in this process see that uh, we may have a result, uh, our voice is really, you know, implemented in new policies, in new recommendations. So. Uh, we have this situation that we have this result, so it's about trust. 
just uh, show it more, explain it more, and we will have much more participants. We will have much more, you know, diverse participants with different uh, areas of experience and knowledge. Not only technical community, not only researchers, academia. So we will have here maybe a representative of business, of uh, economy sector, etc., etc. So. I think it is not a problem, so we are solving it and uh, we are doing it all the best way. Thank you, Natalia, for uh, giving us your thoughts on multi-stakeholderism and I can practice. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck.